I had a big show in New York at the Stable Gallery, Rauschenberg's Gallery, Warhol's Gallery, uh, Rosenquist's Gallery, all the artists. And I'm in the show, sold nothing. I'm depressed. The work is gorgeous. There's 40 of these on the wall. Stable Gallery, 1966. All of a sudden, 10 of six, I hear a ring, three people come in the gallery. It's Alfred Barr, <laughs> Whitney Museum, and I forgot, the critic for the New York Times, John Kennedy. So he gave me a great review, and it was really something, I was a young, young man, obviously, and I had Sunday New York Times, front page, long hair, the, the long pants, you know, the, the funny pants, <laughs> bell bottoms. And they called me the mod artist takes over in New York. And he said, art is dead. And he has a reason. He deserves a thesis, he deserves a doctorate in, the, in art. New York Times. I thought, there it is. My life is made. Dali, I mean, Lichtenstein, like this one that I made for men, actually. It's like, uh, see if it'll fit. <laughs> like, yeah, it fits. It's like a watch. It's like a good swatch. <laughs> and it's moving all the time. It's never the same. So it's actually a sculpture for the masses to wear. Signed by me is only one of a kind made by me same form different different uh, mercury well that was interesting um i was in miami florida and i was at another dinner party and a, a person came up to me and said, would you like to make a hologram? I said, I don't really like them. I'm like, but I, I went to the laboratory and I saw these wonderful images of holography. I said, if we had great artists experiment with holography, perhaps we would get something interesting. So I went to, into this project and I had Robert Ryman, Roy Lichtenstein, James Terrell, Larry Bell, Andrew Shea, Jacques Close, uh, Richard Archwager, uh, Malcolm Morley, uh, you name an artist. And we all did these holograms. Then the uh, person that owned the company went bankrupt and took all the work. <laughs> but somebody else bought it and now it's going to the new museum in New York like, in July. Well, what's happened with anything, like, like Mercury, it took me really 20 years to perfect this. This is perfect. But it, I had dots in it, dust in it. I had it moved too fast. It's like, didn't work too much. But the new pieces that I revisited, and I'm allowed to revisit what I did, because I did it. Like, I started this one in late 60s. Redid it in the 73, didn't like the frame, changed it again. So the inside now and it has a mirror in back of it that reflects the back of the Mercury. So for me, it was another step that shows more than three dimensions because the shadow effect has another dimension. So you see the back of the Mercury in a shadow, which I just discovered by experimenting with the same thing I did in 1966. So it's a continuation of an experiment in 1966 till today. It's new levels. I mean, if, if you saw a piece, say at MoMA, at the Museum of Modern Art in New York, and this was next to it, you would say, well, this is much better, because the other one's a little crude, but it has, it's still beautiful, Mercury moves. Mercury is beautiful, because the forms are perfect.
There's not one form in, in this. There's not one element that's not a perfect organic form. And I feel I didn't really design that form. It's there. I made it work. It's almost like you artist nature. Yeah. It just told me what to do. It's just for me, as an artist, it's just, uh, I paint paintings, I do paintings of abstracts and ships and even dog paintings. I love to do dog paintings. <laughs> I'm stuck because Mama says, this is important. <laughs> but I do uh, paintings, I did a painting for the World Trade Center that was destroyed at 9-11 commissioned by Port Authority in New York. It was a actually realistic painting. So I can paint and I like to paint, but when I see this and I look at my paintings, I like my paintings and so do a lot of other people and they're in major museums. But when I look at this, I say, God, I think the New York Times is right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> and this piece, Luxiviation, was a film of his Mercury sculptures. It was very abstract. It was light. And we found that word, really. It had to do with separating alloys or metals. It's a very abstract scientific process but we like the sound of it and it seemed to embody the metallic sensibility of this project you know with the mercury <laughs>